Hey you guys, it's felting day! Hey, pardon the farm hair. Um, yeah, I get criticized for my hair sometimes, but whatever. You know what, I live on a farm. I t we take our showers at night usually because, you know, we work outside. So in the morning, you get what you get, which is often this. Nevertheless, I am super excited, you guys. It's felting day. So that means your slippers are done. Yay! And we are ready to put them in the washer and felt them. They are, they are comfy and thick and cozy. We're ready to get it done. So let's check with the instructions first. Um, you want them to be felted firmly, which means all these big loose stitches are going to be matted together. And they're going to create a really firm fabric that will be long lasting and hopefully will last you several, years, several winters of wear. Okay, so it says place the slippers in a zippered bag or like a pillowcase. You know, sometimes I do that, sometimes I forget, and I throw them in the washer with some towels or a pair of jeans to add in that agitation. Um, the instructions indicate that you can use a, you know, a little bit of detergent if you want. I don't usually do that. Um, I, you know, I do go ahead, if you are going to use it, a little detergent <clears throat> or a little laundry soap, I would go ahead and rinse and drain them at the end of the cycle and just let your cycle continue. Um, however... What I do is I, I put the water setting on low. If you're using a top loading washer, that's actually preferable. I don't have one anymore. I have a front loader and I wasn't really going to drive the 16 miles to my mom's house to use her top loader. Although, if you still have a top loading machine, awesome. So put, put in a pair of jeans or some towels along with your pillowcase and your clogs. Um, put those in and then set the water at the lowest setting and hot the hottest setting um, The it doesn't have to be super hot. It's the agitation Mostly that causes the felting a little heat for shrinkage is good But you don't have to use super extremely hot water You will need to be able to handle them and check them after every 10 minutes or so So just follow those felting instructions on the end at the end of the pattern and Do it now the only thing I will add um when I use my, I use the front loading washing machine. I'll show you that in here in a second. And I just adjust it. I usually set the timer on my phone for eight or nine minutes, and then I come back and check it. Um, and you want to do that because you don't necessarily want it to do the rinsing and spinning after each little cycle. It's a waste of water and it's really unnecessary. So when you come and check your slippers, it's going to be a, a hot, wet mess. But that's okay. Um, follow the instructions and. We'll see how they come out. All right, let's go to start. Alrighty, so I've put a couple of pairs of jeans in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, and then I'm gonna add my slippers. I I guess you can put a, put them in a pillowcase like the instructions recommended. I usually don't. Um, I think the reason they suggest you do that though is because you will have some fibers that come off the, the slippers. And so I think they just want you to collect that in a zippered bag so you don't end up clogging up your washer um, so I guess some of that's going to depend on the yarn that you used and how much it sheds and how kind of hairy it is um, okay so I'm just I'm gonna go on my machine I'm gonna go probably to the quick wash setting here and then I'm gonna change the temperature to hot although warm will work but that's set for 26 minutes I am NOT gonna let it go that long I'm gonna go ahead and start it and I'm probably going to set the timer on my phone for about eight minutes, and then we'll come back and check. All right, we're back, and it's been eight or nine minutes. Um, it's done some agitating. I can see, I can hear the water's draining, so I'm going to go ahead and let it finish draining, and then I'll unlock the door, or I'll, well, actually, on my machine, I just push pause, and then I let it unlock the door and finish draining. And then we're going to, I'll show you what the deal is when you check it have to wait for the door to open for me okay so it's gonna be a wet steamy mess um, right so you can see that hardly has done anything at all yet so I'm just gonna check that right back in there I'm gonna turn my machine off so because on every machines different but on mine I want it to restart and I'm gonna go back to the hot temperature and I'm just gonna start the whole thing over again so that it pumps more hot water in there and uh, there we go. So it's going to put more hot water in there and start the agitation all over again. So you're just going to have to do that over and over until it gets to where you want. 
Okay, after three cycles, well, three half cycles or whatever, you can tell I'm starting to get there. It's definitely felting together and starting to shrink. Um, I'm going to do it a couple more times, and this is for someone else, but I do have the measurement of the other person's length of their foot, so I'll be able to double check that here shortly. Um, I'm going to do mine a couple more times, or at least one more, and then I'll check the length and see how it looks. Okay, we're looking good here. Okay, um, this is looking pretty good, actually. And, you know, you see how the bottom of it's kind of wrinkly and stuff? I'll straighten all that out when I, when I form it. Okay, so I'm just going to compare here. Compare my slipper to the paper. Hopefully it won't get it too wet. That's pretty dang close. I might stretch them out just a little bit, but I'm about done felting, I think. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let mine... Actually, I'm going to stop mine. And on my setting, I have a thing that says drain and spin. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spin mine out. I know the instructions say that you should wrap them in a towel and kind of blot them dry like that. You can totally do that if you'd rather. Um, my machine doesn't... Hopefully it won't distort the slipper too much by my spinning, but I've done this a bunch, so. And then I'll show you how you can kind of block them and shape them to let them dry. So we'll do the spinning and I'll be right back. All right, after our trip through the washer, our slippers are done. Yay, they look great. Um, You know, these little, these little curvy kind of bits here on the side, I don't worry too much about all that. Um, I, I like to kind of form them. I will sometimes stuff some paper towels in there or a dish towel even to kind of wick up the extra moisture but mostly i just let them dry i think they're fabulous in the winter time i'll put them next to the stove um i'm gonna take i got my paper a little wet but that's okay i'm gonna take my paper and i want to kind of hold this up here and see now mine might be a tiny bit short they're close but that's okay. They're they're still damp, and all I I can just simply pull them a little bit and stretch them out. Um, while they're damp, they're that's super easy to do. See, perfect. Okay. So once I know this one is stretched, I'm just gonna match them up. See, I can pull that one out another inch or so. I just you know just tug on it a little bit till they're the same. Excellent. Okay. Now they will stretch out a little bit when you wear them. When you're you know when you wear them. But if they get kind of loose and sloppy, it's really easy to just throw them in the washer with a pair of jeans or, and then do the same thing, let them dry. And you know, you want to wash them occasionally anyway, probably because of the funkiness of your feet, especially if you tend to wear your clogs barefoot, which I don't. Um, anyway, so all that's going to do is, you know, in the future when you wash them, they're just going to felt down even more and that's fabulous. So I just want to say I'm really pleased. You guys have done very, very well. You got out of your comfort zone. A couple of you are just beginner knitters. And it was really fun to see you accomplish this project. It's not an easy project. And you really stepped up and did it. Got out of your comfort zone. Overcame some, some issues with that. And you rocked it. So excellent. Enjoy. Enjoy your slippers. And now have the confidence to make a bunch more for other people. Especially for Christmas. Okay. So... Our next knit along, uh, we did a little poll in the group. Our next knit along is going to be socks. So um, this is coming up is Labor Day weekend. I am going to the mountains to take my kids fishing. So I will work on a schedule for that you can count on when I'll be posting videos. Um, we'll, we're going to start just doing a very basic sock recipe, which will be the cuff, um, cuff down. Um, a lot of people prefer toe up socks and that's totally fine if that's your thing. We'll talk about that later, but for beginners, we're going to do cuff down and I will start doing, you know, part one, part two, and same as we did here and I'll post, post those. So we'll talk in the group about what pattern you prefer. Um, something super easy to start with. So I'll be posting some videos next week about the patterns we can pick, sock yarn that you'll want to look for, um, things that you'll want to be mindful of when you're picking your sock yarn. Okay, you guys rocked it out. Enjoy your slippers. See ya.